Grace and peace unto you all on today. Today is Fabulous Friday. I don't know about y'all. I am just literally ecstatic about what God is doing. I'm out doing my work, but I can have a little moment. I'm just here just uh, letting you know, just thus said the Lord. The Lord definitely had the word for today, y'all. I don't know if this is just, he's just teaching me how to have fun as I do this. I can oftentimes be uptight about things, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I don't come off like that. But, anywho, I wanted to come and vlog just briefly on what God just dropped in my spirit. I wanted to kind of rewind uh, from yesterday's uh, message, and I haven't posted those yet, so there are going to be posts, so I'm going to be posting three behind each other, so... Um, one of the things that I love about what God had showed me yesterday was to tell them that it is on the way. And we was talking about Jeremiah, you know, Jeremiah 29 and 11. And, it's, and it simply talks about purpose and that God has such a great plan for your life. And when I gave that, when I released that word, then God came back. And so God was saying like, I'm planting the seed that it is on the way. And then he turned back around and said, I'm planting another seed that he was affirming the very thing he, he just spoke and he's saying that it's on the way. Like he affirmed that thing. Like everything that he said will take place is going to take place. Like it's getting ready to manifest. On today, God said, embrace your release. I heard the Lord say on today, this is clear as I'm talking to you. God said, get march, get ready, march, get ready, set, and go. And it's almost God is like God is showing me, like when you're getting ready for a marathon race and you're at the you're at the beginning line, and God and, and as soon as they shoot the gun for you to go, you God said, take off. Don't slow down, don't look back, don't wait on nobody. Just take off. What I'm saying to you on today is be take, take, take off don't worry about those that are behind you when everybody said they want to cling to you and want to go where you're going and when you even give an open invitation don't sit and wait on them you can invite them and say hey this is the way i'm going are you coming the very first person you hear say well you know i need to do this keep going don't slow down don't wait don't offer nothing just keep going this is not the season for you to waste time waiting on people, things, and situation. God said that this is your march, get set, get ready, go season. Like he's releasing you from things and people that have kept you bound. I just said it yesterday. He said to tell you that the very thing that you've been seeking him in prayer that is on the way. And then God turned back around and planted the seed of confirmation, the seed of affirmation, the seed of confirmation that he's confirming that manifestation is on the horizon concerning you. And on the day God said, release, get marched, get set, get ready, go. And I'm just telling y'all, God is in a season where he's ready to bless us. And I'm still sticking with Jeremiah 29 and 11 because he's getting ready to release. He's getting ready to spring forth us into a, a, a place that we would have never imagined that our lives would have been. He's getting ready to catapult us into places that people thought that they, by them praying and keeping us hindered and emotionally bound, we'll never get there. I'm telling y'all, God is getting ready to do it. I'm telling you, he's getting ready to do it. Look, God is getting ready to do this thing. You can't wait on people to go do the very thing that you have you have already set in your heart to do. If you are willing, if you are willing to follow the way God is telling you to go, go. Connect with people who are who ready, who's ready to do, who just ready to do it. Stop going to people every season. You're going to these same people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I'm talking to myself because I do that. Every season we go to the same people and we want to pull the same ones. Hey, you ready? I'm getting ready to do this. You want to go? And they don't pick up. Don't be dismayed. If they if they're not in a, a place financially, don't be upset. And don't even offer to even help.
help them because let me tell you something you can prepare ahead of time and you let them know hey this is what we're going to be doing at the end of the year or this is what we're going to be doing in this time frame they have more than enough ample enough time to prepare for what it is that you want to do people only do what they think that that they want to do and this is not tagging or i'm just ministering to you because i need you to understand the way that god is getting ready to move you can't go back in in those those seasons that you were in before and and you want to minister oh thank you lord and you want to pull them with you these people they don't have a desire to go with you if they really had the desire like how you did if you're if how they say spirit test the spirit of iron shopping the iron these people will be right there on target with you every step of the way every step of the way this ain't something that you have to second guess and they're instantly just connect they say okay sis when you ready god is gonna put people in your life in this season that are ready to do whatever it is that you are seeking God in prayer for to do they just ready they're like okay well let me know what what we doing is I'm ready and, and then the thing is about it when you start talking about doing this and they go they go you gonna be able to to how they say it's gonna confirm it's gonna confirm your prayer it's gonna it's gonna confirm it's gonna confirm your prayer it's gonna put you it's gonna cause you to understand that God heard you that you were you were oh god give me a second y'all i'm gonna speak to somebody tonight i'm gonna run back to me oh so i'm back again so what i'm saying i'm i'm breaking the i'm giving y'all the nuggets oh my god yesterday first nugget was it's on the way the second nugget nugget was god sent the seed planted the seed turned back and got the had the the war and had someone to water the seed and then he also told me to tell y'all yesterday too the second video that he said it's not even gonna take long that means that as soon as you plant your seed and you water it because this is gonna be your season to water your own plant it's not gonna take long for it to spur up and for it to manifest the way that you are standing in the river with God. And remember, I was telling you it's gonna cause it's gonna cost you something, but it's also it's gonna cost you to sacrifice something. And that's either gonna be your sleep, TV time, your phone, connecting with people. It's gonna cost you something. You're gonna you're gonna make you're gonna make that sacrifice. So I'm just like I'm so mind blown because I just heard God say, "March, get set, get ready." Go and I, I heard I was thinking about the power control um, cartoon and how they, you know, get ready to go and then they wait on the light uh, to turn green and then you just you just take off and and the Lord was showing me that like literally like the little the little dog was just taking off <laughs> just taking off and so as I'm taking that revelation and this dialogue in the spirit realm like get excited because even when I got up this morning and I was before the Lord about three and God spoke to me and gave me some nuggets and, and some things to be aware and some things I need to do and I mean but he still gave me such a peace and a joy he still affirmed you know what I'm getting ready to do and even as I was praying before I left out you know he just like God to let you know like to just be cautious where you travel and that's the thing that I love about God because he's showing me like even when you step out there just be cautious to the places you step out be cautious to where I see you if I did not see you there then that's not even the right you need to go and then like God said even when you're at the end of things sometimes you there's not so much you can do the only thing you can do is just say hey I just gotta close out you know just pull back because it's not gonna be a lot that you can really offer a person if they're not ready for what you have to give them you see what I'm saying so this is what I'm telling you in this season as God is getting ready to release you and calibrate you and bring forth some things for you don't go back into those old baskets of clothes and put them back on because those people ain't trying to go nowhere you where you go Dumb people, I'm saying it, dumb people, dumb people, T-H-E-M, people are not trying to go in 
my racial nature. Don't be. And don't be dismayed or be upset about it because let me tell you something. When God got a plan for your life, God will block everything around you and everything that you want to connect to you. He will block it until you give in, until you come to that, that light bulb, finally click on, or you finally take the initiative to cut the light on. And when you do that, then you're able to see so clearly in the spiritual realm of what's taking place in the natural realm and why God is doing it. Because God don't want everybody in the midst of what you're doing. He don't. He don't want everybody in the midst of what you're doing. And I remember the Lord said that to me this morning. He was like, connect with people who want to go and do the same things you're doing. It doesn't say you out there living world. It's just that, hey, connect with people who want to do. Like, I'm all about traveling and going places. And I'm not in a season where I gotta, I'm got i going to think about it. Now, I tell people, if that's not where you at, I respect it. Because guess what? You're not there financially. You may not have what I have. And you might not can do what I can do. So, I, you know, I don't force things on people. And that's what I'm trying to encourage you. Don't force don't force stuff on people if people ain't ready for it. That's just like even the relationship. And I'm being so transparent. Even the relationship with God. Don't force it on them if they don't want it. I remember I had a cousin. She had used. Um, she had said something to me a couple years ago. And it was so. It, you know it's not funny. But I mean the way she was doing it was real funny. And I remember my little cousin. She was just. We were around my former apostle. And my apostle gave her a word. And she started crying and she said, I'm not ready for that, you know. And, you know, later on, she had released to me why she did that. And I was just like, you've been in church all your life. Like, I'm not, I'm confused. Like, why would you, you know. But just because people go to church all their lives doesn't mean that they're, they live for God. And it wasn't, I'm not saying that that's not what, that was the case. But that's what, you know, God was, gave, God gave to me around that time frame. And she told me, she was like, now, now had it, it was you that gave me the word, then maybe I would have approached it differently. But see, God didn't give me nothing to give her to lay on the point. But I encouraged the spirit. I had um, told her, well, you know, God is always open arm. He's always ready when you're, when you're not ready. God is always ready. No matter whether you're ready in season, out of season. When you, even if you're not ready in season, out of season, you serve a God that's going to always be ready for you, whether you're ready for him. And so while what I'm getting at to fast forward here, like, you know, as we're walking and building up the kingdom of God, there's going to be some people who will fall by the wayside. And it's not, and I don't want you to feel condemned, it's not by your doing. If they're not ready for that walk, don't force it. You can plant seeds of life. You can plant the bread of life. You can continue to give them the word. But if they're not ready, it's just, it's... I don't say it's pointless and I don't say it's worthless. I say that, hey, it, it has a value to it, but it doesn't hold much value like how it, it values to you. And even, and you know, and God will tell you, keep it moving. God will put you around people who are going to be receptive, people who are going to be ready for what you got to say. Their ears going to be open and they're going to incline to the message and they're going to be and they're gonna receive it because this is this is their season of the coming out. This is their season of the release. This is gonna be their season of the manifestation. And this is gonna be their season for March, get ready, set, go, release. This, I mean, it's just the green light's gonna come on and it's just gonna happen. And so that's what I want you to just continue to go, go forward, keep pushing. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just continuing to go for it. Every day, I might, every day is a different day. And every day, I, sometimes I find myself fighting more than ever. But the thing is, you know, God has given me so many nuggets. And so I'm taking heed to them. And I'm doing what I need to do um, in terms of how he needs to maneuver. Like, I'm in the process of, you know, doing something next month. And I'm like, okay, God, I got three weeks. And I really need to know, is that what you want me to do right now? And if that's not what you want me to do right now, and I'm okay with that. Like, I don't have to be everywhere and be around everybody. And sometimes, God will show us, I just want you to be still for right now. Sometimes we want to be in the cahoots of everything. And then you be wondering, like, well, God, why you keep pulling me back? Like, I don't get 
get it. And sometimes the pullback is just to keep you safe, to keep you covered. The one thing that you don't want to do is go and move out of the will of God. You don't want to move out of the will of God. And then you never know what God's plan is for the date that you're trying to take take the step to do something. God might have a totally different plan for that particular day. And so I'm just letting you know. I know that I probably jumped a little around today, but and then, but it all fell together because the first nugget was it's on the way. The second one, God was confirming. Um, he confirmed it. The, you know what they said. What well, the Bible said. But there are two or three gathered in His name that each shall be in the midst. And so God, He He confirmed it through the third person to let you know that there's what He what He spoke is gonna manifest. And then on the day He just said you to get ready, get in a place of preparation, position yourself, and then get ready when now that you're at the mark to take off. Just stay right there until God say. But I, He simply said. March, get ready, get set, and go. So you just go, go with the flow of everything that God is saying for you to do. No matter if you cry, no matter if you're afraid, if, if it's uncomfortable, God wants you to do it. I've been in a season where I, when I first moved to D.C., and it was so uncomfortable for me because I felt, and this is my natural man, I felt like I was, you know, dealing with some things personally. And I felt like, you know, I was leaving behind you know, maybe I was making a statement from leaving. And man, God was giving me so many signs. I think I was getting Joe Alstein before I made the move. I had another apostle woman, a guy gave me a word. And she said, God said, she, he want to see if you're willing to put on your big girl britches. And she real country. <laughs> put on your real big girl britches. And are you going to take, are you going to take the promotion? Man, y'all, I, you know, I cried, but I got up. It was uncomfortable. But God assured me every step that I took, every step that every step that I made that season, it was Him. So what I'm saying, like He's He's telling, He's like, I'm charging you again. Charge you, tag, you're it. So this is what I'm saying. Get ready because the release is on the way. It's on the way. Like God is getting ready to do it. Oh my God, He's getting ready to do it. It's, it's just like, I feel it. I can feel, I feel it. I feel it because this whole entire week, I've definitely been in prayer. And I, and I told y'all, I've been prostrate before the Lord. Did. Like, oh, just about every night this week is up Monday. Um, I think Sunday night was one one night that I was before the Lord. I told him I need to rest my body a little bit. And then I stretched out the legs up the next two nights. And so I got up this morning and about um, 4.30, 5 o'clock the Lord released me to get back in my bed to rest. But what I'm telling y'all, what he's about to do, it is on the way. Like God, is, he got oh, he got amazing things planned for your life. Like Jeremiah 29 and 11, I was crying before the Lord about 3.30. God gave me a word, you know, spoke to my spirit and gave me a scripture. I read it and, you know, and he kept reminding me about this particular word. He gave me the chapter in the scripture. This is what he said. I want you to just read the chapter. Go to the chapter and just that scripture. Don't read nothing else. He said, I just want you to meditate on just that. And so when I did that, I laid it in bed and he just spoke to my spirit so gracefully. And before I knew it, I was in the bed sleeping. And when I got up, you know, probably 45 minutes later, he was still talking. And so I just thank God for his voice to my ears and, you know, and me having such a zeal and uh, eagerness to go the way he wants me to go. And I pray because I want all of what he has for me. That's just where my heart is at in this season. I don't know. I can't express for you, but God has definitely pierced my heart. And I want nothing much more for my life is just what makes God please, what pleases him, what makes him happy. And I'm not saying that God does not fulfill his promises. He's not, and I want you to understand, he's not a God that should not lie. So whatever, because see, we never understand how he's going to do it. He'll tell us, you know, he gives us the desires of, his, of our hearts, but he never tells us the full throttle of everything until we get to the end. Like, till we stand in and in, you're like, I actually got here like this is really mine like I'm really doing this so God has such a plan and he just wants you to be okay with going through this next phase of uh, walking and walking through the release 
and just leaving people where they are just like well how they say leave well with well left alone just leave these people where they at because sometimes it's not for them what meant for you is only meant for you so you got the victory on today i don't know why that song in my spirit but like the song say if you hold your peace and let the lord fight your battle victory shall be yours i'm not gonna sing y'all come up with <laughs> not there today but anywho i want to leave this with you if you hold your peace and let the lord fight your battle that victory shall be yours the scriptures that i've given on tonight on today and it just simply say god will spring forth a new thing Jeremiah 29 and 11 and you know it talks about the purpose and plan he said it's not to harm you but to give you a hope in a future God wants to give you an expected end he has a, 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 a promise for your life and just know that he's not a God that should not lie he's not he's not gonna lie about nothing everything that he has is going to it's going to affect it's going to affirm itself and you begin to see the signs like you begin to see the shift and you begin to recognize like when i'm telling you god blowing my mind like just i can't even talk about it but just it that morning i went to, i was like what's the purpose of this i looked it up and it showed me and he just gave me small words just one word and one word hat can give you thousands of meaning one word can give you thousand articulations and deeper revelations but just one word and i reverenced that word you know god was telling me the, the word and then it just kept kept uh magnet manifesting itself more just through conversation with people and he said it today and then he proved himself just through through something that just recently happened um before i got on here and i'm like thank you lord and that's why i was saying like i said get ready march get ready get set and go he was like now you you're going and i just don't want you to wait on nobody i need you to just keep going connect with those who, who ready to go and do things just keep going and so that's what i'm telling you like i went and people like okay well we'll, we'll connect tonight like let me know and we'll just do whatever and i'm like all right cool you know and then it's it's funny because how god came back and reverenced it back in my spirit he's like you know go and enjoy have a good time so this is what i'm telling you on today let god just have his way and he's gonna give you joy he's gonna put you around people who want to be around you he's gonna put you around people who want to celebrate you embrace you uh, speak life over you they're gonna want to follow your god they're gonna want to serve your god they're gonna want to praise your god they're gonna want to worship your god it's all about where you're connecting to and to whom you're connecting with oh my he caught my that's god is just doing something and sometimes in certain seasons you're going to be disconnected from your family it happens i done been through it and when i'm able to see them i love them on them i embrace them i enjoy them and then when i'm just out of how they call it out of box like an iphone the out of box phone part but the thing is it's like a protection oh my god that is so unique like the autobots psalms 91 and 1 and it says that he who dwells in the shadows of the almighty shall abide in the shadows of his wings just like the autobots like for the fall god will begin to put you and place you right back into a place of safety a place of covering and then he just covers you and shields you, like shields and protect you from things and people that don't serve purpose for where you're going. And you got to be okay with that because we're all, and that doesn't say that they're bad people. So I'm not saying that, but your purpose to do something extraordinary, something that's out of the ordinary, something that is not exposed to man. It's like a whole nother level. It's taking you to a whole nother dimension. You're stepping into a realm that everybody just ain't going to be able to step in because as they step, they die. It kills them. They burn them because they can't handle it. It's, it's something about the grace of god that's that signifies your life it glorifies it and everybody can't invest in that glory they're gonna lose their sighting just because they're trying to figure out and see what all what all what all is it that you're doing and why you're doing it and how you're doing so be encouraged for the lord is with you i don't know who this is for but god said just keep yourself closer to him than ever before 
and just know that as he maneuvers the promises and and and, and releases the things that you've been praying about it's going to happen stay encouraged may the lord bless you and i hear god say to tell whoever this is that it's going to find you and you don't have to look for it be blessed